Hi, welcome back. This is Dr. Richard Herbal coming to you today. And today we're going to talk a little bit about um, neurofeedback. And neurofeedback is one of my favorite tools uh, of recent time. I've been using it for a few years. And neurofeedback is based on a quantitative EEG. So an electroencephalograph is basically measuring brain waves. And we have delta, theta, alpha, and beta as our primary brain waves. There are others in complements, but they're basically signals that start in the cortex of the brain that control different activities in the brain itself. So when we look at delta, which is very dominant during sleep, and we look at theta, which is kind of a little bit more into that rising, awakening state, and then we look at alpha, which is much more relaxing, and we look at beta as being more intense as far as thought process, these different brain waves are something we can actually measure in 19 sites on your skull. And each one of these 19 sites are related to what we call Brodmann areas in the brain themselves. Brodmann areas are basically little maps and little file cabinets of information. So when somebody has some sort of a neurological condition, when somebody has um, aberrancies in brainwave functions such as seizures, things of that nature, there's certainly, if there is a seizure involved, need to be uh, assessed from a medical perspective, in particular looking at medications. But oftentimes neurofeedback can be used under lots of different circumstances to actually reestablish normal signals in the brain itself. So when we look at neurofeedback, first we do a map, and we, we actually map out the brain, and we look at the primary um, uh, frequencies of the brain to, to look for aberrancies. And if we find a pathology such as a seizure, we always make sure we explore that at great depths uh, from a medical perspective as well too, looking for whether or not there's a pathology involved. So this tool is not necessarily diagnostic for pathology, although it gives us insights, but it's much more of a functional tool. So what I mean by that is once we have been looking at pathology, including MRIs and CAT scans, the quantitative EEG gives us an understanding of all these little file cabinets and the information coming out of the brain and going into the brain. So if you're suffering with things like ADD, ADHD, some kind of hyperactivity, migraines, schizophrenia, depression, anxiety syndromes, just to mention a few. Neurofeedback is an incredibly dynamic tool that I use in my office as a board certified uh, functional neurologist to identify where the problem is. And then more importantly, we also use it as a tool to retrain these aberrancies in brain function. So it's a very intriguing subject for a very variety of different conditions. So I invite you once again to join us at Capital District Vitality Center and learn more about how our brain functions and how we can actually improve that functionality. Thanks again for your time. This is once again Dr. Richard Herbold and I appreciate uh, your coming to see us.